who are the three different types of people that like your fan page and what do you do with them? The three negative types of people <laughs> and what do you do with them? Hi, I'm Susan Kewen, the other half of Chuck and Susan Kewen, and I just want to take a couple of minutes to talk to you about um, creepers, tro uh, trollers, and haters. <laughs> Creepers are, uh, as, as women were, you know, men do get creepers also, but women mostly will get the, you know, men that are looking for using our uh, pages as a dating site and, um, you know, sending very, very inappropriate messages and comments and even more so inappropriate pictures. And uh, they, um, those creepers, the best way to deal with them is you just block them. That's, that's it. You don't want to do not respond. Um, that is the worst thing to do because you're accepting their bait. Don't even respond. Um, just, just calmly block them from your uh, professional page, from your fan page, business page, and also from your personal page. Just make sure that they do not have any access to you anymore. That's the best way to handle them. Trollers. Trollers are just looking for a response. They're just looking to create some stuff. <laughs> so they will leave you comments like, you know, network marketing, that's a pyramid scam, and I can't believe you're doing this, and you just yada, 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 yada. And the best way to deal with trollers is to very politely and professionally answer them with with information if if what they're putting out there commenting on your site is um negative information it's misinformation not just negative information but it's misinformation then correct them very professionally just give them the facts and th what that does is it gives you the benefit of um putting out more valuable information for your audience because they're going to see those comments they're going to see the comment of the troller a very negative, nasty comment, and then they're going to um, see your response to that, and you're educating your audience that way. The same thing with the um, haters. The interesting thing about haters is um, feedback that um, my mentors are getting is that when you get start getting haters in your business, then you know your business is doing really well because haters will hate, and haters hate people that are doing better than they are. They don't like to see other people be successful. And that's one of the reasons why that might spur them on to hate. So you need to just, again, choose. If you choose to engage with that person, you could totally ignore it. You could just um, hide it. I would not delete the uh, comment uh, because if you delete it, then it's gone and it's not part of your social proof anymore. If you hide the comment, however, no one else can see it. No one can see it, but it's still there as your social proof. So the Facebook algorithms will still give you, that's still part of your social proof and that's really important. So you could choose to just ignore it, hide them, you know, hide that comment, don't respond. If you do respond, do not respond in any kind of emotional way. You know, don't let your feelings be hurt. Don't get angry. Um, be intelligent about it. You want to use that opportunity as a way for you to show that you are a professional network marketer and here are the facts and just educate them. And in the process, again, while you're educating them, that the person that is being a hater or a troll, you are educating your audience as well. So I hope that was helpful. I would really like for you to share with us, uh, with our little tribe here, um, some of your experiences with creepers and trollers and haters. Let me know what your experience is and how you handled that. Um, the interesting thing about all of these you know, situations is that we, uh, you can use it to repurpose your, these are stories that you could you want a Facebook Live and talk about it. You could put an email out about it. Um, put a regular post out, a little story and maybe a funny meme with it and, and uh, just, you know, re repurpose it and so that it becomes an educational tool instead of a, uh, you know, an emotional wound to you. Laugh about it, shrug it off, 
and respond in a as a professional network marketer. So that's it for today. We will see you tomorrow. I hope this was helpful. I'd love to hear what you think. And we will see you again tomorrow. You have a very blessed day. Bye-bye.